Hey, good morning and welcome to this birding adventure in which I'm going to try to see as many rare bird species in one day. The day started off with this nice blue sky, something that has been very rare in the Netherlands over this winter. And the early morning was filled with the song of the many woodlarks in the area. My first stop of the day is the Amsterdamse Waterleiding Duinen to give the Homeus Great Grey Shrike a second chance. But I've been searching for more than an hour already and haven't seen a trace of it. It uh, covers a large area so it can be hard to find and I hope I'm not spending too much time on this bird. So I have enough time to uh, see all the other birds. But first this one as this is my highest priority bird of the day. The red crested pochas were still present at the same place they were last time, although they were a bit less in numbers. Now it's not like I haven't seen anything, because when I walked into the area I could film a green woodpecker. Since I began filming birds, the green woodpecker always saluted me. Now in January, when we did our Top of Holland big day, I could film my first green woodpecker on the ground. Here I could film my first green woodpecker actually in trees. I heard it calling when I entered the area and then I saw it pretty soon, so I could start filming, which I'm very happy with. I also found a lesser sported woodpecker, which is always high on the list of bird species I would like to encounter on a birding trip. Getting eye level views of the lesser spotted woodpecker are very rare indeed. Here you can clearly see it is a female because it lacks the red color on its head. In the lesser spotted woodpecker, both the male and female make the drumming sound and also the typical kiki 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 ki song. Just as numerous as the woodlarks were these meadow pipits. I've been searching for almost four hours already. I've checked all the spots where the bird has ever been uh, seen and reported. Sadly, haven't seen it. And it's getting a bit frustrated after last week with the Jeer Falcon. I also can't find this bird. Talked to some birders in the area, but they also didn't see it. So maybe it is gone, but maybe it's somewhere uh, where I didn't check or it had moved and uh, was on one spot where it was before. 
So I'm giving it 30 more minutes and then I'm heading for another bird. Sadly, not the day I was hoping for, but I make the best of it. In the United States, this bird, a field fair, would be the star of the show, like in one of the latest videos of Badgerland birding, but here it's pretty common. Just like the great grey shrike, this species, the common stone chat, also likes to sit on top of bushes, scanning the area. As the grey strike costed me way more time than I had hoped for, it didn't make any sense to uh, twitch all the other rare birds that I've seen before and also filmed before. So I decided to head to Blaricum to see the Arctic Red Bull. The Arctic Red Bull was present amongst a group of about 20 common Red Bulls on a grass field in an urban area. The Arctic Red Bull was very easily located amongst the group of common Red Bulls when the group was sitting in this bush. Here it is preening, so you can clearly see its white rump. You can also hear me giving directions to other birders so they can also get onto the bird. Although I had found an Arctic Red Bull in my local patch earlier this winter, I was very happy with this shot. As with my bird, I didn't get decent shots of the rump, and here you can clearly see a large white rump patch. Also note the clean white underground of the flanks, with only sparse streaking, and the pink wash on the chest, which is much redder in males common red bull. In contrary to the arctic red bull I found earlier this year, that bird had clean white undertail coverts, where this bird had one small streak, but that is acceptable for Arctic Red Bull. Here we have a male common Red Bull. Note how much redder the chest is and also note the red wash on the rump. Here we also have a common red pole, and note the brown underground of the flanks. I had put my GoPro on the ground in the hope the group of red poles would land next to it but sadly, they stayed away a couple of meters. I was waiting patiently close to the ground for the group of red poles to come towards me, which they eventually did, and then I could get these shots. Well, that red bull definitely saved the day. What a nice bird. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe. And below this video in the description, I have a list of the best videos. Enjoy.